Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, is a rapidly progressive form of muscular dystrophy. It is caused by a mutation in the gene on the X chromosome that mothers can pass on to their sons, so this disease almost always affects boys. DMD affects approximately 1 in 3,500 male births worldwide and most commonly appears in children between 3 and 6 years old. Individuals who have DMD have progressive loss of muscle function and weakness, which begins in the lower limbs. Typically, the first noticeable symptom is delay of motor milestones, including sitting and standing independently. There is progressive muscle weakness of the legs and pelvic muscles. The calves appear enlarged in most patients due to the scar tissue buildup in muscles and muscle tissue being replaced by fat and connective tissue. Muscle weakness also occurs in other areas, but not as severely or as early as in the lower half of the body. Other symptoms and signs include difficulty going upstairs, an inability to jump, walking on tiptoe, leg pain, facial weakness, including an inability to whistle or close the eyes. Symptoms of DMD usually appear between two to five years of age. The child lags in achieving their developmental milestones, which include walking, crawling, and talking. They would have difficulty getting up from a sitting position, known as Gala's sign, and climbing stairs and taking more time than other children of the same age. Between six to nine years of age, the child may walk on their toes or have a wobbly, abnormal gait. Difficulty walking becomes more pronounced at this stage and is often accompanied by fatigue when walking long distances. Leg braces may be needed by the time the affected child turns eight to nine years of old to assist them with walking. By about the age of 10 to 12 years, most affected children require a wheelchair. Curvature of the spine may increase because of the weakening of the muscles in the trunk. Children with DMD have weak bones and may develop fractures of the hip and spine easily after falls. The non-ambulatory stage is often seen during the teenage years, which worsens as the teen transitions into adulthood. They become dependent on power wheelchairs at all times. They are at high risk of developing complications, including cardiomyopathy, pneumonia, and respiratory failure. While there is no cure, treatment options do exist to slow the progression of the disease and offer the patient chance for longer survival and better quality of life. The first line of treatment is corticosteroids. They decrease muscle weakness and help improve muscle strength. Physical and occupational rehabilitation, including exercise program and stretching activities also help to assist in minimizing contractures developing. Treatment options include assistive devices, braces, canes, and wheelchairs are eventually recommended, which could help to reduce muscle damage and improve independent mobility. Orthopedic surgeons with expertise in DMD can treat severe contractures and scoliosis. Pediatric cardiologists can track their heart function with EKGs and echocardiograms. For children with DMD and their parents, it will be necessary at some point to have a conversation around mobility aids. According to the stage development mentioned just now, the need of walkers, manual wheelchairs and power wheelchairs will be helpful under specific capabilities of each individual. Since DMD can cause muscles to easily fatigue, we might recommend that to be on the playground playing is the child's job rather than walking to the playground. 
It can also help them to participate in a variety of activities with friends without fear of being left behind. Considering a power device which has more power functions such as standing and seat elevation. This would allow them to do much more independently, limited only by the imagination.